Black body radiation was the very first phenomenon explained with quantum reasoning. That success led to many other breakthroughs and eliminated many of the paradoxes in our old methods of thought. It led to our most fundamental scientific theory and to the most accurate predictions ever made. Now, most people study blackbody radiation for practical reasons. They need skills to get a job. But what I like are the psychological aspects of the story. How did physicists react to the radical shift in worldview? How did society as a whole react? In this series of videos, I'll be telling those stories, as well as explaining the physics of blackbody radiation. Before quantum theory, human thought patterns assume the world consists of objects that move through space when forces are applied. That was the world the ancient Greeks and Newton described. Unfortunately, that world has big paradoxes, and black body radiation was the first one to be understood. Since the black body radiation puzzle was resolved, quantum theory has proven itself over and over again. But most humans still haven't come to grips with quantum reasoning. Most humans don't understand that the logical outcome of classical reasoning is that baking bread is impossible. It takes an infinite amount of energy to heat up the oven. To be a great baker, you need to understand black body radiation. When people learn of quantum physics, I've seen two types of reactions. Type 1 people say, wow, the world is much more amazing than I thought. However, I've also seen type 2 people who say, this must be wrong. Classical thinking has to be right. I will wait until a better explanation comes along. Amazingly, Einstein was a type 2 person. Type 2 people have been waiting for a long time. Black body radiation is one of the great stories in physics, ranking with Newton's description of planetary motion and Einstein's discovery that space and time are coupled together. Of these great stories, black body radiation is the one that is underreported or poorly reported. The reason is that it takes a lot of background knowledge to really understand the paradox before you can get to the resolution. That's why a good part of this presentation is background material. Possibly you advanced students could skip the background material, but for most, that would be a mistake. Once you know the background material, the biggest section explains the paradox itself. That one has the most math in it, and the most video animations to help visualize what's going on. Then comes the resolution for the paradox, which is actually one of the shorter sections. After the resolution section comes section 8 on other ways of deriving the black body formula. In 1900, Max Planck and Albert Einstein used semi-classical logic to explain black body radiation, which is different from the quantum field theory we will use. This is a great section because it relates to human psychology and how we respond to new information. The final chapter is on the verification of the quantum hypothesis. At first, we didn't know the full value of the new approach. Over the course of 50 years, the experimental evidence piled up, and by 1950, quantum theory had become the most verified and accurate theory in history. Yes, the process all started with blackbody radiation. There are thousands of articles that try to explain quantum theory in terms of little particles, like chemistry is explained in terms of atoms. These are very popular because they appeal to the built-in model of physics that's already in our language. For instance, when we say the woman ran up to the man, we assume that distinct objects, the woman and the man, exist in real life and can be tracked during the running process. In quantum theory, that sort of thinking leads to paradoxes and predictions that do not agree with experiment. These videos are going to explain what black body radiation is without resorting to those confusing ideas. It will take more time, 
but you will be much more satisfied. Start with the next video to get a good explanation of what black body radiation really is.